In this video, I'll get you through an updated 3DS finalizing setup process, specifically for those with the modded console. Let's dive in. To follow this guide, you'll need a modded 3DS console, encompassing all variants, including the original 3DS, new 3DS, 2DS, and more. To verify if your console is modded, press and hold the select button while pressing the power button. If the Luba 3DS screen appears upon loading, your console is modded. If your console boots directly to the original home screen and pressing buttons has no effect, your console is not modded. In this case, please do not follow this guide, as it will not work with your console. When the console boots to the Luma 3DS configuration screen, simply press the start button to proceed to the home screen. In this scenario, the console is modded but lacks essential homebrew apps. This video guides you through installing these apps in accordance with the 3ds.hacks.guide method. Now let's turn off the console. Next, remove the SD card from your console if one is inserted. If you don't have an SD card, obtain an SD or micro SD card, format to FAT32, and insert it into your computer. You'll need a card reader to continue. If you like a card reader, use an alternative method to transfer files to the SD card, such as a phone or tablet. I've updated the 3DS starter pack with a tool that automatically downloads and organizes the latest components aligned with the finalizing setup from the 3ds.hacks.guide. Visit my 3DS starter pack GitHub page and download the latest release file. For convenience, please download the .exe file. Double-click the .exe file to download and organize the files into a folder. Open the newly generated folder and the SD card. Drag all the contents from the newly generated folder onto the SD card. Insert the SD card into the console. And then turn on the console you'll see the latest Luma 3DS configuration screen. Press the Start button to proceed. Then turn off the console. Now, press and hold the X button, then press the Power button. It will automatically load the God Mod 9. If you are prompted to set up the RTC, then please do so. Now, press the Home button, then choose Scripts. Then choose Finalize. If the title database is not found, you'll need to use a donor one. On this screen, select Yes. Then select Yes to unlock the NAND and enter the combo keys to continue. The system will now prompt you to install the homebrew apps and automatically backup the NAND data. Select Yes to continue. The console is now backing up the NAND data.
And now, press the A button to continue and insert the SD card into the computer. Next, we will transfer the console stand backup to your computer and store it in the safe location. Open the GM9 folder and navigate to the Backups folder. You will see several files in the Backup folder. To transfer them, create a new folder on your computer and copy-paste the files into it. And then, you can delete the files in the backup folder to free up the occupied space. Reinsert the SD card into the console and boot it up. Upon reaching the home screen, you will see a notification. Click OK and unwrap all the essential homebrew webs. You have successfully completed the latest 3DS finalizing setup in line with the 3ds.hex.guide method. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.